No intro. I will mention the following operators. Echo, Mozi, Bandit, Smoke and Vigil. It is very important to have the right mindset behind an operator. So this video will be extremely important. We can talk more in depth about this in my Twitch streams. Link it in the description and in the comment section. Echo. In two days, I will release an Echo guide. However, the reason why you are probably playing Echo wrong is that the mentality of Echo being just the planned denial. Before I explain a bit further, one of the Echo's role is to deny the plant. But that is just the tip of the iceberg of what Echo brings. That's very similar to saying that how Thatcher only counters Kaid tricking. Thatcher counters loads of stuff, including Maestro and Jaeger. Back to Echo. Echo's primarily role is to feed the information to his team. If you do it well, then attackers will not be in the situation to start the plant. That is why, in the following Pro League clips, you will see Yokai drone of the objective. Both of them. A 2v2 with a health advantage 4G2, at 40 seconds in, and you still have some Yokai drones to play. Secretly, is already. The easiest kill to get in the siege is when your opponents are not aware that they are being spotted. Since your Yokai drones are cloaked, attackers most likely won't know where the Yokais are. This is extremely important. For instance, if you cannot hold penthouse or theater when defending kitchen and service on the coastline, you can leave a yokai drone in the penthouse and play a heavy C4 threat from the service. With the known locations of the enemy team, you will have easy C4 kills. Very similar to the clubhouse kitchen. This is just one of the dozen reasons why Yokai drones should be mainly used for the intel, to help your roamers denying the map control, and just by the end of the round to stall the plant. I hope this example, as well as the Pro League clips provided, helped you to build a better mentality of Echo. Before going to Mozi, the reason why you are most likely having the wrong mentality is because of the content creators telling you how to play an operator in a specific rank, or your friends. The worst tip you can receive is a tip when it works just in one rank, as that is the hardest bad habit to figure out the moment you end up in the higher ranks. Having said this, Mozi's misconception is about the preparation phase. Let me start with a question. If you see in the preparation phase a pass by a door or a drone hole, what do you do? Do you, in the preparation phase, purposely enter there just to waste the pest? Or do you rather save your drone outside and try to go elsewhere? If your answer was that you don't go inside of the pest, which is a correct answer, as you're talking about the preparation phase, then you maybe can see where am I going. As a mozi, when you see a drone in the preparation phase, and both of the options are able, hijacking versus shooting it. What do you do? Assuming that you didn't hijack other drones, you should hijack the drone. Before reasonings, let's check three clips on the Pro League, or from the best player in the world, claimed by himself, Fabian. In the clips, notice how Fabian could have easily destroyed the drone. And on the other drone, he went to pick up one of the pests just to hijack a drone. <laughs> I almost shot you. Obviously, the pro clip should just confirm that hijacking a drone is better than shooting it. Especially if it is done on coastline, on a heavy information denial map, where having a pest acting as a jammer really helps. Okay, Mute beats Mozzie in the terms of denying drones in the most situations. If you are picking an operator just to deny the drones, you should go with the Mute unless solo queue. Pests can be quote quote wasted in action phase, whereas jammers cannot. One pest will not stop attackers to drone you out. They will have an attacker and a drone pushing you. And the moment there is a pest, they will just get rid of it. Worst case, wasting it and using another drone. 
On the other hand, if you had intel on the attackers from where the attacker is pushing, you will most likely get the easy kill on him. Because we are now back to the Echoes part. The easiest kills in the siege are the ones that your opponents are not aware of them being spotted out. Having a permanent and hidden intel versus possibly denying just one drone and 10 tish seconds, well obviously the intel wins. Bandit. There is one bigger misconception of Bandit not being able to bandit trick if Hibana shoot the pallets in the middle. It is very much possible, and it's not even hard, unless the pallets that Hibana shot were the last ones. Then it is impossible to bandit trick. But usually, like on the clubhouse example, Hibana will use the first two x on the wall. And that means you can deny her. As you can see, I will be able to do that. Now the bandit trick is outside just to make sure that we are not cheating and that we are doing everything based on the timing. Another misconception about bandit or bandit tricking more precisely is Thatcher countering it. Thatcher does not counter bandit tricking. Simply put, bandit tricking was invented to stop Thatcher and Termite combo. Using 3 MPs, one after another, or whatever your calculations are, they won't stop bandit to bandit trick. You need an actual counter like Zofia. List of other counters? Check the top right. There is also Mozi, Vigil and the smoke video on the top right corner. Speaking about the smoke, I will touch two things about the smoke. The first one is very similar to Echo. The mentality of stopping the plants. It is one of his jobs, but that's not the full story about him. Smoke is extremely useful to stop the pushes, which can mean to stop the plants. Also, there were some weird smoke setups on the other content creator videos, like the Villa one, that will hurt more your team than anything else. Please, be aware when doing the prep host for your smoke babes. However, the other thing is what I rarely see in the rank people doing it, or even in the challenger league, or lower teams, which is using smoke babes to for the CQB fights. I have given the villa clip the smoke guide video. So let's see how Peng will force a CQB fight with his smoke babes on the cafe. Eastern side on that cocktail lounge, they have every single thing, every single position they would need to deal with this. It's the one on one down to come through. Red Proof is still alive, but might be picked up right here in these last dying seconds as the smoke canister is now coming through. The shotgun will be coming around the corner as well. The Spengu with one is going to be able to get a second one right here. He knows it's Vito, he knows it's the GA that he's up against right here, but he swings around the wrong knee and he gets a Pengu. We'll be able to get the one. Vito. Let's talk about the last operator, seemingly pretty basic Vigil. Everyone that watched my Vigil video will see why Vigil is not a basic operator, but I'm not going to talk about that. I will mention here how most people do not utilize Vigil at all in the preparation phase. Vigil, due to his invisibility, can destroy drones way easier than any other operator. On the very start, just by being on the night of the border, or you can climb on the lobby of Oregon, or anywhere in the traffic area. Since you're invisible, drones will not be afraid of going closer to you, and you will have easy time destroying the prepped drones. It is usually said that if your team gets more than two drones in the preparation phase, you have won the preparation phase. So, start winning the preparation phase with the vigil. This is the same issue as the egg or the smoke one, not understanding how to play the operator to the fullest. Would you like an attack version of this video? Make sure to give this video a like then, as it helps the video a lot. Would you like for any specific operator? Comment down below for which one. Thank you for watching this video and staying with me for this long. And thanks all the patrons and YouTube members for making this video available. If you want to learn all the basics and advanced things about the siege, make sure to give me a like, subscribe and click the notification bell to get all notifications from my channel. Make sure to give me feedback down in the comment section below.